hey, happy new year. Not yet, but... Oh, I'm sorry. It's the new year for me, because I'm in a different time zone. We're in, we're in a room together. But I grew up in New York. Huh. Are you done with your resolutions? Um, yeah. Here. Get mozzarella from the store. Get a basil plant. I'm gonna make a caprese salad tomorrow. A resolution is, like, committing to taking steps towards, like, a bigger goal. Basil is a step towards the larger goal of caprese salad. Drop off package, return at UPS. See, yeah, these are just errands. Well, what did you put? I can't tell you that. Why not? You had us do this whole activity. I just can't. Is it because you think it won't come true if you tell me? No, it's because my resolution is at your expense. What do you mean it's at my expense? Don't worry about that. Why don't you just try again and then be specific about your goals and the times when you'll be pursuing them and out of the house? Times when I'll be out of the house? One idea would be no phone in bed. Maybe leave phone on the kitchen table every night. Unlocked. Is this part of the resolution that's going to be bad for me? Well, these suggestions are good habits to get into regardless. I think I might go to bed. I feel kind of weird. Okay, good night. Hey, I'll see you in a year. You mean you'll see me next year? Nope. Is that also part of- You'll see soon enough. Just me. I'm a solo rider. Sorry, ma'am. You have to be 48 inches to ride. That's a good one. Not a joke. Just a rule. Um, I'm obviously solidly past 48 inches. Yes, that's the issue. You have to be exactly 48. Why? You, you just do. Trust me. Or what? You're decapitated. Part of the ride involves a blade swinging over the rider's head, kind of right at the 49 inch mark. Why would you guys put something like that in? To make sure no one too tall is on there, ma'am. It doesn't seem like a good business model to me. Do you have enough people? It's an extremely common height among children ages 6 to 10. Oh good, I'm sure kids ages 6 to 10 love a ride where a blade swings over their head. Well, they appreciate that the blade didn't get them, which is more than you would be able to say if you rode. Okay, um, I guess I'm just gonna, gonna go on the Ferris wheel or something. Not with that torso length, you're not. What is that, 17 inches? I don't know my torso length. Our Ferris wheel has a static blade at the very top that unfortunately decapitates anyone with a torso of over 15 inches. Why? Well, pretend this is the, is the Ferris wheel and the blade's here. The rotation pushes you into the blade. No, not, uh, it's slow, but the blade is very sharp. No, I mean, why are you putting blades in all of these places? And the thread of the blade keeps attendants who are too tall to ride safe from danger. But the danger is the blade. You can go back and forth on this all day. What activities here are safe for me to do? You go to the Toucan Grill. Oh, a restaurant. Oh no, actually, I think the Toucan Grill might have recently installed a blade. Mm. The Carnival Center, you could do the Limbo game as long as you win. Because the stick is... yeah. Okay, then I will go home. Oh yeah, unfortunately going home is one of our activities that does have a blade. Are we still hungry? $20 is a little steep for a dessert. Well, it's expensive to make a restaurant rotate. Yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to ask. Um, is there maintenance happening? What do you mean? Because we don't seem to be spinning. I see the confusion. The spinning happens very slowly. I can see that car out the window It's the exact same spot it was 40 minutes ago. And sometimes the feeling of dizziness can make people confused. I'm not confused. I'm pretty sure I'm not dizzy. Many of our customers really love our 360 degrees creme brulee. How's one of those sound? No, I have more questions. Okay, fine. I thought the Space Needle restaurant was at the top of the Space Needle building. Our first location is. Um, this is our second location, which is the bottom of this different building. So I checked on maps and this place doesn't have an unobstructed view all the way around. Like there's a target attached to the other side. Our rotation technology is perfectly safe when applied to a retail store. Are you saying that the target behind us is rotating too? I'm saying that it's easy to find disappointment if you're looking for it. Can you just look me in the eyes and tell me that this place is spinning? The theme of this place is spinning restaurant. That was not my question. Okay, ma'am. Cards on the table. I don't like when we do this, but we can offer you your entire meal free of charge if you're willing to write a Yelp review saying that it spins. So, the whole meal? The salmon for one, the mac and cheese starter with extra cheese sauce, the hamburger to go for your roommate. Oh, you don't need to do that, I know what I got. And all you'd need to do is write one review saying you're wrong. The restaurant spins. I came here because the review said it spins. Yes, those reviews are very important to potential customers. Many of their authors made choices just like the one you're about to. You're the devil. I don't know what you're talking about.
Okay, here's your order number. It'll be ready at the window. Awesome, thank you. We also have a free delivery deal that goes until tomorrow. Oh, cool. Would you like to opt in? For the sandwich I just got? You could get it delivered right to you, for free. To me or to my address? Because my, my address is actually far from where I am right now. We'll deliver it right to your location. Um, I'm okay. You think there's a catch, but there isn't one. No, I'm not worried there's a catch. I'm just, you know, I'm here. You're here, but you could have gotten the same deal without leaving the comfort of your home. I was in this area anyway. Well, how about this? It's a Friday. I bet you're going out with some friends later. Okay, well, I don't know what that has to do. If you wanted a late night snack, you and your friends could get it delivered to you with no charge whatsoever. I don't get why you're going to bat so hard for this. And what if I told you this? You wouldn't even have to tip the delivery person. What? Just don't even worry about tipping them, if that'll change your mind. I don't think you can... Hi, is there a problem over here? No. Not really. Marshy, did you help enough customers to understand our exciting delivery deal yet? I'm trying, I'm trying. You have to get to 10 orders or else we won't be able to pay our delivery truck driver. Do you want that? No, I don't. I really don't. How many people have you gotten so far? Two and a bunch of next times. That's not enough. Three. It's not nearly enough, Marshy. Three. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't want anyone to starve, so. You do that? You said it's gonna be delivered to me, right? Yes. It's not gonna be delivered to my house, you're just gonna hand it to me when it's ready. Of course! Then, yeah, sure. And what's your address? Okay, I'm gonna tell you so it's counted, but I, I don't want my sandwich going there. It's 34 Ignatius Drive. You got that, Stevie? Yep. What? No, is that mine? No time to chat. That is my order. Just hand the bag to me. Stevie, we told our customer she didn't have to tip you for this one. I'm confident I'll be paid if I'm fast enough. I just hope we get to 10 in time. I won't be able to tip you if you go to my house because I'm not at my house. She can't hear you. She's too far away and she's moving too fast. How far out do you think we need to get before we're officially like at sea? I would say we're at sea now. You think? Yeah, because it's sea all the way around. Like there's no remaining land on the on the on the edge yeah what is the word for that part i think it's just edge honestly i couldn't tell you which way we even came from which is cool i was telling my boss about this to ask for a time off she was like well, what's your destination and i was sort of like well the sea is the destination it's like the destination is the sea and the journey and she was like oh maybe you should have a real destination and bring an expert with you well she sounds like a real land lover is it a lubber what's a lubber i don't know maybe it is lubber well, either way, I'm having a great time. I wonder, now that we're here, like, I wonder how long people usually stay at sea. I think just as long as they want. Because my boss might have had a couple points. I'm wondering if she was right at, about us bringing that map. Hmm. I mean, she was really like, you shouldn't do this. Are you having second thoughts? No, no, not about coming. A little about the map. Use the stars. It's nature's map. Yeah, but we don't really know about stars. The biggest thing's the moon. The second biggest thing is north. There's land to north? I'm sure north is eventually there's land. I think maybe I'm just hungry. Kelsey, there's a sea full of fish just waiting to be snacked on. They're all down there. I don't know how to get them. Do you know how to get them? I don't know how to help you in this mood you're in. Are you, what are you, thirsty? Yeah, I'm also thirsty. Well, behind, your, behind you, there's the Brita filter. I brought it to, to separate the salt out. Brita filters don't do that. We talked about this. You need to be more open-minded if this is going to be fun, okay? We are in an amazing position. We're at sea. Yeah, I guess being at sea is a huge accomplishment in itself. It's a huge accomplishment in and of itself. It's so early. We don't have to worry about water supply or navigation or who would eat who if it came to that. Exactly. For now, we're just two friends at sea. Great. Do you know how to swim? No. Miss Franklin, you just admitted that you saw your sister earlier that night. No, I just said that I walked back from her house. Can we read back the minutes? Me? Obviously. Like, read back what I've been typing? Yes. Okay. 
whenever you're ready. So basically she just said she like, she walked from the house. Don't paraphrase. Totally. I walked back from the house and then I went to an address. What address? One, two, three, Walnut Road. That is not what I said. I guess we'll have to strike that from the record. I decide to strike things from the record. I just need to know, does the witness testimony start with the word yes? Mm-hmm. And that's really written down? I'm not under oath, right? No. Yeah, it's there. It's spelled, where did you complete your certification? It was, um, typetolearn.com. Okay, I really need us to stay on track. Yeah, um, Miss Franklin, earlier you claimed you hadn't seen your sister since the night before. Well, I didn't see her, but I saw that the lights were on, so I knew she was home. I'm sorry, can you just go a little slower? Don't ask the witness questions. Sorry. So yeah, I ignored the text because I just thought it was kind of creepy. You can say that again. She's trying to get the witness to repeat the statement because she missed it. No. And then I got this text. It was in French. It said, Il mourra à minuit. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Miss Bell, I'm going to have to dismiss you. I get it. What are you writing? Letter. It's to her cousin. Oh. He's at soccer practice. No, Owen, I told you, I'm with my friends. Just get a ride from someone else. I think you should add a sentence before you launch into that. I'm liking the new job so far. To answer your question, I'm with my friends, so I can't pick you up. Yeah, that's better. He's at practice right now? Mm-hmm. And I'll get the letter, what, Thursday? Oh, I'm not gonna mail it. Fran's gonna run it over. Yeah, it's only 10 minutes away. You're driving there to give him this. You can ask one of your teammates or check a bus schedule or check a bus schedule can't you just she can't no we explain it all in the letter oh hey tony hey guys i was just at the park and owen wanted to pass along this letter practice is over and i'd still love to get a ride tony said i wasn't allowed to ride with her and that you are working on a letter that will explain why he was not happy about that. Anyway, it's raining pretty hard, so let me know as soon as you can. Does anyone know a word I can use instead of situation? Predicament? Uh, predicament seems like a problem. What's the rest of the sentence? I'm sorry, why can't one of you just give him a ride? I barely have time to write this explanation to Owen. I'll write you a letter tomorrow, okay? You can just tell me. The letter will clear up why she can't. I like audiobooks because the readers tell you exactly how you're supposed to feel about a character immediately. Like, the way they'll introduce a character that we're not supposed to learn is, like, a bad person for 200 more pages. They'll be like, the character said, I'm having a dinner later, if you want to come by. And it's like, the tone is like, she's fancy and we don't like her. <laughs> a fancy woman who's <laughs> very shallow and horrible gossip and um, she lives next door. I like, and I like this about audiobooks because I can, um, when I'm listening to an audiobook, I'm, I'm, I'm using that time to think about my own stuff. <laughs> but I do miss important things and sometimes I'm like, thinking like, what if there were a feature that like, wasn't there a feature where you could kind of they could, they could tell when you're not paying attention, and they could pause it for you. That's, that would be evil. That, could, that would be a horrible thing to do. You have to catch yourself when you're, because your brain's going to be inventing stuff in the background. I was feeling grumpy about how I had all, all this stuff to do and not enough time, and I was like, my brain's going to be all tired by the time I get to see my friends, and I really just, I want to be like my best self for them. I was like, what if there were a way to separate your work self and your life self? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't freak out. I went to those traveling salesman guys again. Emperor, no. No, 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 but just the guys that sold her the invisible robe. Yes. Listen, a wise emperor is someone who turns their enemies into subjects. That's why my poison tester is someone who tried to poison me like a bunch of times. Still don't agree with that choice. Anyway, the salesman told me that this shirt, um, you can only see it if you're like really smart. How are you falling for this again? Okay, but guys, here's the thing. The issue last time was that I was lying. But I, like, literally can see this. I don't know what to say. Am I naked to you? Because I'm, to me, I'm not. I'm literally just wearing a shirt. I swear. I, have you considered that it could be a normal shirt? It's a regular shirt. No, it's a, it's a magic shirt. I definitely got some really weird looks on the walk home. Okay. 
like the exact kinds of looks you would give if you saw someone naked. Is it a feature that you want in a piece of clothing that to some people it's invisible and you're naked? Well, no. Yeah. So then that's just, it's just how the shirt works. But why keep seeking out something that you don't? Because I could see the shirt, so that means... Do you think if I tried to return this, they would trade me back our army? It's a nice typewriter. Thanks. Too bad it's not the 1950s. Listen, Jamie, are you going to buy anything? No, I'm just browsing during my break. Over at Tech Stop next door, we just got a brand new batch of laptops. Good for you. Do you even know what a laptop is? Yes. It's a little computer. It makes me sad seeing how behind the times the store is. It's just a different kind of store, Jamie. This stuff is completely outdated. If my phone can tell me what time it is down to the second, then why would I need to buy that enormous thing? Some people might think it's cool. I don't, I don't know. And my phone just tells me the number. It doesn't make me solve a puzzle first. You don't know how to read a clock? I know some of the times, like how six and 30 are when the hands go down, but not all of them, because I don't need to. I have a customer. Hi, uh, no, I was actually, I was just coming in here to see if anyone has the time. There's a clock right behind me. Well, all that thing tells me is that it's not 6.30. While you're in here, would you like to hear our daily deals? No, thanks. No offense, but the stuff in here looks a bit old. I'm not offended by that. The store sells old things. Newer things would be more useful to me. I'm always trying to tell her that. I work next door at Tech Stop. You work at Tech Stop? Why, they have some of the newest items in the country. Newest in the country. You know, you could learn a thing or two from this lady. I don't like how to be a jerk. I'm saying this because I hope it helps, not to be mean. Globes, clocks, couches. Most people use newer sorts of things. What newer thing has replaced couches? You've been living inside this history textbook so long, you don't even know. The hell is this? Hey, stranger. It's been a while. Listen, Payne, I don't know what you're scheming, but I know you'll never get away with it. And you'll never make it off that bus alive. Tell her, Linda. Okay, my name is Linda. I'm Payne's new assistant. Okay, not tell her about yourself. Oh, you mean about the bum. That's right. What bomb? Linda set up a fun little surprise for you. If that speedometer hits 50, a bomb will be activated and the bus will explode. Payne, you never miss a trick. So you better keep that thing moving and fast. Okay, starting when? It's already begun. The bomb's active and the second it dips below 50, cause I'm at a light right now. You're currently stopped at a light? Mm-hmm. Linda? Sounds like she's following the rules for now, but good luck to her if she gets on the freeway. Linda, did you set it up so that the bomb goes off when it crosses to above 50? Yeah. Okay. If she goes above 50, she can say goodbye to being alive. Below 50, Linda! Wait, so I just can't let the bus go above 50 miles per hour. It seems that that is the situation. That feels easy. It does. It might seem easy, but make one mistake and everyone on that bus goes kabam. Well, it's just me on board at the moment. It's just you on the bus? Yeah. You said this was a popular line, Linda. No, I said the people who take that line seem popular. I normally take the six during the day. I might just pull over. Yeah, I guess there's nothing stopping you from doing that. Try Claire. Her password's not gonna be her own first name. Claire's computer? I also don't think that's gonna... Oh. Hey, guys. Hey. Claire. What's going on? We're just fishing. Fishing? What do you mean, like data fishing? Like a pH? For fish. We're hacking into your computer. What? Yeah, we're hacking in. Guys, we think it's nuts that your password is Claire's computer. It's supposed to be a password, not a description, Claire. Or if this were a label maker, I'd say it's a great password. Um, first of all, my password is not Claire's computer. Yeah, it's a good try, Claire, but we already entered it and it worked. No, I'm serious. That's not my password. It's not? No. Then, you know, come to think of it, this actually could be my computer. Is your password Claire's computer? It's like, come to think of it, yes. I remembered I thought it was it be a secure password seeing as I'm not Claire. Why are you guys trying to break into my laptop? just wanted to buy some things using your um, credit card. Just so we wouldn't have to 
and pay for it. That is unbelievably not okay. No, I feel like you know, we just wanted to get some new stuff and we just wanted to use an account that our card wasn't attached to. No, I get it. I'm not saying I don't get it. How can we explain this to her in a way she'll understand? I'm going to the park. Cool. Have fun. Do you want to come with me? I'm doing other stuff. Work stuff? No, it's leisure stuff. It's perfect out. There's no better leisure than I don't want to go to the park. You know what? Yes, you do. No, I don't. Dogs running around barking, frisbees sailing through the air, little carts ringing their bell, ice cream, fresh fruit. I know what the park is. Well, I'm sorry, it just, it seems like you don't because, you know, what self-respecting person would say no to all that? Well, I guess I'm not a self-respecting person, so have fun, but I'm not coming with you. I just can't understand why you aren't coming. You want to go to the park, and that's great because you are going to the park. My point is I think everyone wants to go to the park and is there, so I don't know why you'd be the one exception. I can guarantee you that there are a lot of people in the city who are on their computers just like me. Well, that is a tragedy. Okay, I'll pass that along to the rest can of Can I ask you something? What's your mood level right now? I would describe it as low. I think it's probably because you're inside. It's because my roommate is being extremely judgmental. Are you ready? You just give me like five minutes. Ready for what? The beach. You're going to the beach? Yeah, I am. The beach is like the park, but bigger. Where are you going? Mm, the park. That's cute. <laughs> I was just you. You're brave and you were planning to go outside all along. I wish you would stop talking to me like I'm a child. Well, I'm gonna run. Have fun at the park where there isn't even water to swim in or sand. Your other friend is terrible. Yeah, she's got really good taste though. What does that mean? I don't know. You know it feels like the first actual day of summer. It really does. Jean, are you hot in that hoodie? No. Okay, I will bet three chips. And I'll bet four chips. Are you sure, Gina? Yeah, I'm the perfect temperature. Now Sarah takes all the chips because she betted the most. Another win for me. What if we turned on the AC? And what if you took your hoodie off? I don't want to. Gina clearly didn't put on a shirt under her hoodie this morning, and now she can't take it off. No, that's not true. Gina got a little lazy getting dressed. And now she's gonna be a little bit too hot all day. I'm not hot, I'm cold, I'm freezing. I was just offering to do something to make you guys less hot because I care about your comfort more than my own. Whatever you say, Gina. No, don't use that tone with me, Fran. Don't pity me. Pity Sarah, Sarah's cheating at chips. Me? I'm not cheating. Then how do you keep winning? Because in chips, whoever bets the highest number of chips wins that round. And Sarah keeps betting the most. That's just the rules of chips, Gina. Something about the way she's playing feels impossible. Okay, it's Sarah's move. I'll bet five chips. Gina? I'll bet three. Sarah wins. How? Can we turn the AC on? It's like 90 degrees in here. I guess 85. Any final guesses before I check? And even 80. 22 degrees. Gina, Gina. I'm not allowed to be cold and disagree with you. You're so cold that you think it's 22 degrees. I'm leaving. I don't need this. Guys, I don't know how to say this, but it's exactly 22 degrees. What? Let me see that. No. Is it possible that we're all cold and not hot? So that's what the feeling was. Gina was right about everything. Does this mean that I was cheating at chips? Oh wait guys, you know what? There's a little C next to the 22. So, we are hot. We're not cold. Oh, good. Excuse me, miss. Oh. Here you go. Oh. Um, it's a straw. Thank you. You know what? Take a couple more. I'm really, um, I'm okay. Well, just in case. No, I don't need more straws. It's totally not an imposition. They're free. I know they're free. I'm just gonna leave this here. What is this? Are you mad at me? No, we don't know each other. Strangers can still be mad at me. I'm one person drinking a hot beverage. The number of straws I need is zero. But the number of straws you deserve is infinity. I take a straw. If there are enough left after I'm finished giving this woman straws, I'll pass one to you. 
No, you can be- I'm fine. I'd only need one for my iced drink. You don't need one. Pardon? No one ever needs straws. You can always drink out of the side if you want to. But I'd like one. Would you like a sugar packet? No! I'd like a sugar packet. You're sort of a pushy type of woman, and I don't know if I like that. I just want to be offered something. Yeah, everyone wants to be offered something. The store is offering all of us both sugar packets and straws. They're free. They're in the box. They're available. They're not being offered. It's completely different when someone gives it to you personally. Okay, well then, I will offer each of you a straw. Oh, that is really generous of you. You so didn't have to do that. It really says a lot about your character. Now we all have the number of straws we need or don't need or want. Are these paper? I didn't make them. I feel like I'm eating a business card. Okay, yeah, I used to have a bunch. Uh, how about you? I have a brother and a sister. Nice. Hey, I really like your shirt. No, oh, thanks. Just um, something I thrifted. Yeah, I love Tepson's beans. Really good taste. Thanks. Hey, can I get you to anything else? Um, I'm okay. I'm full, thanks. And I'll just have another round of the chicken entree. Okay. Tepson's beans. I like it. Um, I should say I've never actually had Tepson's beans before. I just thrifted this. Well, they're delicious. You never had them? No, um... If you want to leave, I would totally understand. No, I'm just surprised, but it's okay. I feel like it's not okay. I mean, I'm certainly not perfect. I'm actually not a chef. I'm a disgraced lawyer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's a big lie. Um, we're oh, actually date? in the middle of a, a date, date right where now. like, could you Sorry. give us some space? Now that we're alone. You want to talk about something else? How did your siblings die? They were eaten by a guar. Guar? Like um, a big bison. Usually herbivores are most provoked. What? Siblings, like, each one of them kept going back one after another to avenge the death of the one before. Um, but the Gwar kept winning. That's awful. One day I'm gonna go back and slay the beast once and for all. I think that's really cool. Thanks. Hey, is it too soon to say I love you? Not at all. Okay, you're doing great. Almost there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it. But you know, no matter what, I'll be okay. Well, you're gonna make it no matter what, and then you'll be okay. Yeah. But if there's an emergency, I always have the safety cord. That's what I meant. Right, but you don't need a safety cord. Okay, safety cord or not, you will make it safely to this side. Janice, is there a safety cord running from the back of my harness to the rope? Well, the cord is actually running from one building to the other, keeping you comfortably aloft. Are you just talking about the tightrope? Yes! Janice, why am I not attached to anything? Well, we looked it up and the record for this height tethered has already been reached. I don't care about a record! Which is why we didn't waste your time by letting you know. Janice, I want to live. I gleaned that from how well you're balancing. Why did you give me a harness if it's not tied to anything? To create the illusion of safety so you could tackle this momentous challenge uninhibited by fear. But you are telling me before I am all the way across. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be. I don't want to be on here. I don't want to be on the rope. As your coach, the safest place for you right now is balanced atop the rope. I know. So high up. 103 stories. The highest ever traversed without a- Janice, you are fired at least if I get across. Do you understand that? I think when you get your write-up in the online publication Walker's Gazette, you'll change your mind. This is my last minute of life. No, just watch out for that bird and you'll be fine. What bird? Oh my god. Oh. When that happens, it's always because of pigeons. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to go? Where does I'll ever be. Alright, hop on. Mine will have a safety cord, right? Don't worry about that. Up on the left is a laughing gull known for its loud, laugh-like call. I have a question. Yes. Is the laughing gull a type of whale? No, it's a bird. Then I don't care about it. Yeah, we're here to see Every whales. Every time you show us a new animal that isn't a whale, it bullshit. becomes more clear that you don't respect us. Look, I know everyone's wanting to see some whales. We're going to try one more spot. I don't yeah, care if you have to call in a favor, okay? Get them here. I'm not hiding them from you. You're close with the whales. You have a relationship with them. What? You oh, stand on their play. noses. We've all seen the pictures. I, are you talking about SeaWorld? 
If this endless gray sky is what the sea world is, I'm sure happy not to be a fish. I'm really starting to question my belief in whales. Okay, well, whales are real. That's not up for debate. Actually, doubt is Don't really criticize healthy. criticize her. If you could all please just stop yelling at me. I'm happy to hear any reasonable concerns. Yeah, I have something reasonable to say. Okay. If we don't see a whale soon, we can easily overpower you and throw you into the ocean. Here, here. Okay, just give me- I'm gonna talk to- Hey, um, it's happening again. Over. You mean the threats? Over. Yeah, they really want to see a whale. Okay, well, you might have to do the trick. I- I, I hate the trick. Okay, I actually have a letter from a special friend. Who? His name is Splashy. He's a humpback whale. The letter is from a whale? What the- don't just stand there. Read it. Dear Explorers, I want to let you know how sad I am that I can't be here with you today. Is this really from a whale? I don't have to keep reading if this is boring to you. No! I mean, I, I guess you could keep reading. Good. Being a whale isn't easy. I'm busy chasing down krill and doing cool tricks. What's next? Yeah, keep reading, I guess. Say hi to my old buddy Catherine for me, and I hope the rest of the boat ride is a blast. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you. Seems like Splashy respects you a lot. I'm sorry for threatening to drown you. It's okay. Guys, look! Whales. 